I cannot even explain the amount of time that I'm about to save you right now as a video freelancer, as a creator, YouTube creator. If you do any sort of interview, talking head, A-roll type stuff, you need to be using this method. It's a program and then a workflow. I'm gonna show it to you in Final Cut. Let's dive in. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. You've got your clip recorded. What I'm gonna do next is I'm going to open up the program called ReCut. And once that's open, you can click on this import your file right into ReCut. If you have this auto button checked next to threshold, it's gonna choose for you what it thinks your silence is. And generally that does a good job, but if you wanna manually control that, do interesting edits like maybe the pop of a pickleball paddle. When I crack ice. If you wanna make that threshold a lot higher so you're only keeping the very loud portions of your video, slide that threshold up. What I like to do is just zoom in here a little bit and make sure that the pieces that I wanna be cut out are cut out. If they're not, you can see here the red is cut but there's blue is still there. So what I'm gonna do is just make a minor adjustment and when I bump that threshold up just slightly, it took out that clip that obviously wasn't me talking. The other thing that you're gonna to wanna to adjust depending on how fast and snappy you like your cuts is this padding. This is actually talking about to the left and to the right of the deleted clip, of the deleted portion. So under right, you're going to be adjusting the padding that comes before you start talking, and under left, you're gonna be adjusting the padding that comes after you start talking. Again, I'm just gonna go around on the timeline. I see here that there is this portion that isn't cut out. That's probably because my minimum duration was set to too high. So if I bring that minimum duration down, it's gonna still take out those little pauses, those little blank spaces, which for my style of editing, that's exactly what I want. Once it looks good to go, I'm gonna slide right over here to export. I'm gonna keep that at Final Cut Pro because that's what I'm using. You could use DaVinci Resolve, whatever you wanna use. Hit export, it goes very quickly. Once it's exported, I'm gonna click on this little arrow. It's gonna take me to it, and I'm gonna double click on that in the Finder. Now it's gonna ask me which library I wanna add this event to. Click choose, it brings that XML in, and then when I double click on the new project that was created inside this event, it's gonna bring up my clip with all of those cuts. That's step one. Step two is crucial, and that is two things. One, you need a visual indicator, and two, you need to work from the end. Quick word about the sponsor of the video, Squarespace. With the new Fluid Engine from Squarespace, making the website of your dreams has never been easier. You start out with this professionally designed template, you don't need to know how to code, already made for you, and then you can tweak it using this brand new UI, drag and drop, very easy to use. Your website is gonna work on both desktop and mobile, which is absolutely crucial. You can schedule appointments through your site, offer private sessions, coaching calls, workshops, and then when you're ready to make some tweaks and improvements, the analytics suite inside Squarespace is second to none. If you want to try it out, go to squarespace.com slash Cody Warner, and then when you're ready to buy, use the code Cody Warner to get 10% off your first purchase of a domain or website. As you see, I'm at the end of my timeline. So what I've done is created the keyboard shortcut six, the number six, turns my clip audio from a video roll to an effects roll. And what that does is it actually changes the color of the clip in the timeline. So this last clip, not one that I'm gonna use, delete it. Listen to it again. Listen to what comes next, trim the front of that clip, and this is actually a repeating loop for Instagram, so I'm gonna move that to the front of the timeline. Now because I wanna visually remind myself that that first clip is set, it's locked, I'm gonna press the number six, and that is gonna visually tell me, okay, that one's locked in. Let's go back to the end of the timeline. Now the way that I'm recording video is once I nail a take, once I get the line right, I move on to the next line. I think that's how the majority of us record stuff. Generally, our last take is our best take, and that's why we're starting from the end. And it might seem like, well, how am I gonna make sense of what I'm saying if I'm listening to it in reverse order? It makes perfect sense. You can hear yourself trying things multiple times and then you know that the last time you tried that thing was the take that you wanna use. Once you've found that take, press six, give yourself the visual indicator that that's your take and move on back now towards the beginning of the video. Look how fast this speeds things up for me. All of these takes are the same take. So I'm just going the whole way down in the timeline until I hear myself stop trying to get this one line. Once I've found it, I'm gonna select the furthest leftmost clip, go back to the very beginning right next to my visually indicated locked clip, press shift and click, 
that's gonna highlight all of that stuff in the timeline. I'm just gonna delete it. I don't have to listen to it in its entirety. I'm done with it now. And that's where the magic of this style of editing from the back using cuts that Recut has made really starts to shine. I'm gonna continue on this way using Trim Start, Trim End, deleting the takes that are no good. I have saved hours and hours and hours of time editing a roll, nailing scripts in record time just using this method. If you want to give it a shot, I have an affiliate link that's going to save you some money in the description for Recut. Obviously, I'm using Final Cut. You can use whatever editing program you want to use. Get out there. Let's make some good stuff fast. All right.